Before any calculation of maximum demand can be made, a complete list of all loads in the installation is required. These loads must then be allocated to a load group for calculation purposes. Load groups appear in the two tables in Appendix C of ASNZS 3000. The type of installation determines which table is used to calculate the maximum demand. Domestic installations are the subject of Table C1, with non-domestic installations applying Table C2 for calculation. In Column 1 of each table, load groups are identified by lowercase letters. Some load groups will have subgroups to specify a particular load within that group and what loading applies to it. Small numbers in brackets may appear next to the load group. This directs the user to the statement in the notes attached to the table, which helps with interpretation. Any load will contribute something to maximum demand calculation. So all loads must be allocated to a group. ASNZS 3000 has worked maximum demand examples in Appendix C for guidance in the calculation process. These examples show the following. How equipment is placed into a load group, what values are applied to a load group in each phase of an installation, and what the final current value for each phase is. So, how do you calculate the maximum demand in a single phase domestic installation? Let's begin with our first load group, lighting. The notes attached to table C1 define a lighting point load as 60 watts. Table C1 allocates three amps for one to 20 lighting points and two amps for every additional 20 points in a single domestic dwelling. With the introduction of energy efficient lighting, point loading will be significantly less than these values. An equivalent loading for energy efficient lighting can be obtained by dividing the connected load wattage by 60 to get the equivalent number of points for calculation. However, lighting load in a domestic dwelling does not contribute significantly to maximum demand, and this option can be ignored. Socket outlets. Unless installed for a specific purpose, it is hard to determine the loading on a 10 amp socket outlet. So the calculation here also applies a point allocation. 10 amps for one to 20 points, with five amps for every additional 20 points. 15 and 20 amp socket outlets are allocated current values for calculating maximum demand, as these are installed for specific reasons. Other load groups. Load groups C to M cover all other loads in a domestic installation and it is the electrical worker's responsibility to place each load in the appropriate load group to calculate maximum demand. The current rating of any equipment installed will need to be determined, so loading calculations can be made. Load group F is for storage hot water systems and allocates a full connected load for maximum demand calculation. Load group C, for cooking appliances and laundry equipment, allocates 50% of the connected load for maximum demand calculation. It is understood that these types of loads and other load groups are not used continuously. And if full rating were to be applied, consumer main size would be unnecessarily large. 